Are you tired of filling your cart with decor and then putting it all back, buying nothing because you don't know what you actually need? Or wasting money buying a bunch of random decor that ends up not working when you get it home? Do you wish someone would just tell you which decor pieces were actually staples? Well, here are the decorating staples that everyone can use in their home along with a handy downloadable checklist. There are two very common real life stories that I hear all the time. In the first story, my friend, let's call her Jenny, heads out to the store. She knows she needs some decorating pieces because she's been staring at blank walls, shelves, and tabletops for months, maybe even years, on end in her house. She finally heads into a decor store and starts to wander. She sees a few things that catch her eye, puts them in her cart, and continues to browse. Before long though, Jenny second guesses herself, realizes she has no idea what she really needs or wants, and puts every single thing back on the shelf. Jenny leaves the store with nothing. In the second story, let's call my friend Tina in this one, decides to go shopping as well. She too has been looking at all the empty spaces in her house for a long while and just wants to fill them with something pretty. As she wanders the store, she finds some things she thinks may work because they look like popular decor items she's seen on Instagram and HGTV. She buys a cart full and takes everything home. Only once she's gotten her haul home, she's not happy with any of it. She can't figure out where to put it. If she does find a place, she's not in love with it. So she schleps it all back to the store for a refund or she just stashes it somewhere out of frustration and loses all that money. Regardless, she finds herself back at square one, just like Jenny, no closer to a lovely decorated home. In both cases, my friends were shopping with no idea what they needed, but because it's my heart's desire to make decorating easier for Jenny and Tina and you to share all the decorating steps you need and break them down into easy processes that make sense so that you can create a more stylish and organized home you love. If you're decorating in the right order, following my five-step decorating plan, you know the steps really quickly are, one, find your unique style DNA, two, plan your space, your furniture layout, etc. Three, add the curtains, rugs, and lighting, four, decorate the walls, and five, add accessories. The decor staples I'm gonna share here fit into steps three, four, and five, and should be selected in this order. Here are the decor staples you need for just about any room in your home. Curtains and drapery for each window. If the room you're decorating needs privacy, also add either privacy blinds or choose draperies that are thick enough to provide that privacy. If you don't need privacy, curtains will simply add style and layers to the room, a big necessity to soften spaces. Remember to hang curtains high and wide so they don't crowd the window and the natural light. The next thing is an area rug. You can place area rugs on wood, laminate, or tile floors, or even over wall-to-wall -wall broadloom to anchor a space and add style, or to hide an ugly or worn floor. That's what makes area rugs one of the best decor staples. Like curtains, they tend to warm up a room and create an inviting and cozy atmosphere. They also serve to anchor furniture arrangements. The next thing you need is one to three floor or table lamps or other task or accent lighting. Every room needs some sort of lighting and having various types of lighting such as task lamps for reading or floor lamps to soften the space is a key to creating a designer looking space. Choose coordinating styles and finishes of lighting and don't rely solely on overhead lighting even if you have a dimmer switch. Each room also needs at least one piece of artwork or other wall decor, like a gallery wall or mirror. Artwork is such a personal choice. I prefer neutral colors or nature paintings. Maybe you like bright splashes of color. Because it's so personal, choose what you adore and nothing else. A nicely framed mirror can suffice here if you prefer or you can't find artwork you love. Just remember that whatever the mirror reflects becomes artwork, so use mirrors judiciously. Also, remember, artwork comes after the big pieces like furniture and lighting and curtains, 
so you know how much space you have and how big of a piece to buy. Want to go a little deeper into decorating your home? In addition to the decor staples checklist that we're talking about here and that you can download below, I've got a free decorating starter kit to help you breathe new life into your space. There's a link in the description to that below too. Check it out. The last several decor staples all fall under the category of accessories and fit into the final step of the five step decorating plan. So those are a few throw pillows and blankets. Exactly how many throw pillows and blankets you need will depend on your space and how much you like those things. I recommend at least one throw blanket in a room, maybe more, and at least three to five throw pillows depending on the amount of seating in your space. Don't have so many that your guests and family don't know what to do when they want to sit down, but have enough to add coziness and some softness to the room. Bonus tip, I always suggest getting feather inserts for your throw pillows because they hold up to wear and tear so much better than their foam counterparts. The next thing you need is one or more large baskets for storing things like toys, blankets, workout gear, um, or anything else that may be in the room, but that you want hidden or corralled. Speaking of corralling, you need at least one tray for corralling items like remotes or bedside items, or to use as the base of a decorative vignette or display. You also need at least one vase or pitcher to put flower arrangements in, and a combination of one to three fresh flower bouquets and real plants, or faux flowers and plants. And of course, one medium or large, pretty scented or unscented jar candle and two to five candlesticks with candles for variety. You can use battery operated candles or real ones depending on your preferences and how clumsy you may be or if you have kids around. You also need one to three decorative objects like figurines, bowls, abstract shapes, bookends, etc. Which ones you choose will totally depend on your style. And finally, you need one to three or more pretty books for display or to use as risers for other decor accessories when they're stacked. When you're choosing decor for your home, make sure you follow the five-step decorating plan, getting the larger pieces in place first. And then when the time is right, shop for and use these decor staples in each room in your home. Curtains or drapes for each window, the right sized area rug, a lamp or two, one large piece of artwork or a mirror, one or more throw blankets and three to five throw pillows, one or more large baskets for hiding or corralling necessary items, one or more trays for corralling items or as a base for a vignette or a collection, at least one vase or pitcher for flowers, a couple of candles, one jar candle and two to five candlesticks with other candles, one to three decorative objects and one to three or more pretty books. That's it. Those are the 15 or so decor staples everyone needs in their home. Download the handy decor staples checklist in the description below this video to take with you next time you go shopping. If you like this video and want more ideas and inspiration for how to create a more stylish and organized home you love, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe so you don't miss any new videos.